Have you ever heard of the term dyslipidemia or heard your doctor say you have high cholesterol levels? Well, what does it exactly mean? And how does it affect your health in general? In this video, we will explain dyslipidemia and what are the risk factors that predispose some people to this condition. Dyslipidemia, in short, is an abnormal amount of lipids in the blood. These lipids include triglycerides, cholesterol, and or fat phospholipids. Not all lipids are bad. Some are considered good lipids and are great for heart health. We will discuss them later in the video. Having high bad lipid levels can increase the risk of developing cardiovascular disease, such as coronary artery disease, cerebrovascular disease, and peripheral artery disease. In developed countries, most dyslipidemias are often due to bad diet and lifestyle behavior. Also, other risk factors include family history, diabetes, and high blood pressure. There are three main blood levels collected to assess for dyslipidemia. Triglycerides, high-density lipoprotein cholesterol and low-density lipoprotein cholesterol. High triglyceride levels can indicate dyslipidemia. One thing to note when measuring triglyceride levels is that fasting for 8 to 12 hours is required to get an accurate result as non-fasting triglyceride results may be falsely elevated. If triglyceride results are higher than normal levels, then this needs to be addressed since severe hypertriglyceridemia is a risk factor for acute pancreatitis, which is inflammation of the pancreas. Another blood level collected to assess dyslipidemia is HDL. HDL cholesterol is made up of very little lipids and a high amount of protein. It is beneficial in the body because it functions by going to the tissues and picking up extra cholesterol and fat. Due to the positive effects of HDL, it is named good cholesterol, since it helps prevent plaque formation. Because of the positive functions of HDL cholesterol, a low level indicates dyslipidemia and is a risk factor for complications. Another diagnostic test that is often reviewed is LDL cholesterol. This type is made up of cholesterol, triglyceride, phospholipids, and apolipoproteins. LDL molecules bind to the endothelium of blood vessels and cause plaque formation. Once plaques are formed, LDL floating in the bloodstream can attach to the plaques and cause further accumulation. Due to the damaging effects of LDL, high levels increase the risk for cardiovascular disease and indicate dyslipidemia. An important non-drug-related intervention in dyslipidemia is a diet aimed at reducing blood lipid levels and also weight loss if needed. These dietary changes should always be a part of treatment, and the involvement of a dietitian is recommended in the initial evaluation and also in follow-up as well. Other lifestyle modifications include 30 to 60 minutes per day of moderate to vigorous exercise, smoking cessation, stress management, and getting 6 to 8 hours of sleep at night. Despite these lifestyle changes, some patients still require medication to manage dyslipidemia. In our next video, we will discuss the available treatment options of this condition. If you liked this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.